Hello again crafty people and welcome back. Today I'm going to do a resin petri dish. I've got my little coaster mould here ready. I'm ready to mix up my resin and I've got some nice alcohol inks. I'm using pinata inks in passion purple, uh, senorita magenta and sun bright yellow. I really should put my glasses on for this. Um, and of course the pinata white. I'm going to create one of these um, petri coasters. Now, I've been asked to do a special request, so that's what I'm doing today. My request was to only add the ink in the center. So every time, I'm just gonna put the ink drop after drop in the center, some, some colors, some white, some colors, some white, and we'll see what happens. Um, no expectations, it'll be interesting to see what works out. As usual, I'm gonna be wearing my respirator whenever I work with resin and alcohol inks. So I won't be talking you through the process when I'm doing it, but I'll come back at the end and then we can see how they turned out.
So let's unmold these and see what we got. This first one is the one that you saw me do on the camera. And as you can see, obviously it continued to move afterwards and all the inks continued to kind of swell and move and bubble. And the nice design just kind of pushed off to one side. This one here, I had a little bit of resin left over, so it's a very, very thin one, so that will be interesting, but don't the colors look absolutely scrumptious? I used the same colors as this one in here, but they're for some reason much more vibrant. I guess it's because they didn't um, sink through as much because this one is very, very thin. I also took a cocktail stick on this one and did like a, a spiral pattern, so let's see. Shall we take this one out first? See, and it's smallest it's got all those colors let's see what happens it'll be interesting because I've never done one this thin before oh there it comes so absolutely sparkling colors I love them in fact let's turn it over I think turning over is going to be a disappointment but let's see ah, it's okay shall we say I think it looks good. You can see the spiral pattern in there quite nicely, but it's gone a little bit off center. Got a few little bits that have come through, but I think it looks really good. So let's get that big one out and see how that one's turned out. So this one's much, much thicker, had a lot more ink. And of course, because of the experiment, I did it just with inks in the center. This one, I put inks in several places and then did a spiral. I put them in like four spots. This one was just inks in the center. So there's the back, the big reveal. Oh, I'm always nervous. Eh. It's okay. It's really weird. I mean, where did the colors go? Look at the fantastic colors that we put into it and look at the colors that came out of it. Definitely not as vibrant. The pink and the yellow have all but disappeared, even on the back. There's a little bit of them on the top, but really it's blended all into one color and a lot of the details have disappeared, but it's very, very thick. So it's got a lot of really good 3D details. So I'm gonna bring the camera in now and we'll take a look at them in close up. Let's look at this little bright one, first of all. This is the back, and here's the front. It's got some nice details. You can definitely see the swirl pattern that I created. And this camera doesn't do great with close-up, so let's see how far it'll go in. We'll focus there. No, it's probably about there. So there we go, you can see some of the details. It's really cool, I just love doing these. And now I've seen how cool it looks with just a really, really thin one like this. I might be tempted to do more thin ones. I always figured that it maybe would be too thin and you wouldn't get a great design, but this is still a great design and it's really thin. Only like that. So this one on the other hand, much, much thicker, as thick as my thumb. So this took a lot more resin to make it. And obviously you can see the design. And again, my camera's not going to zoom in. I think what I will do is take some macro photos with my other camera, which does much, much better for macro. And then I'll add the macro photos in to the end so that you'll be able to see the details because this looks really good to me. The, the details look really good. I'm going to take a few pictures and add those in now. So there we are, just a couple of little projects for today and a little experiment. Thank you very much for watching as usual and I hope to see you here again very soon.